All right, Sean, the Fluency Awesomizer, here's another video where I want to help you decode big words and give you some spelling tips to carry around up here and use when you need them. All right, we've got two words to look at today. Let's get started. I'm going to get out of the way over here in the corner. I want you to read this word right out loud. Hit pause if you need, think you need if you think you need to give yourself time. What is this word right out loud? All right, uh, what's this word? Did you say customers when you read the top word? The top word says costumers. The bottom word is customers, all right? These two words are really easily confused. We're usually reading and saying customers. You might not even be aware that there are costumers. There are. Let's compare these because they're, like I said, they're easily confused. I got the idea to look at these words from a sign I saw in a window. All right, they start with a C, then followed by an ST consonant pair, and they end the same way. We want to look at the vowels in the beginning. In costumers, there's an O followed by a U sound. Customers, the U comes first, followed by the O, so the vowels reverse. There's the source of the confusion. So let's take a look. Costumers, that O sound is gonna make a short O. Here's a quick way to remember short O. Make an O in sign language. You go to the doctor and they ask you to open up, say ah. That's how you can remind yourself that short O sound. Down below, cust. That U sound is gonna make a short U. Here's a U in sign language. Quick reminder, a way to remember the short U sound is uh, short U is uh, 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 uh. That's what it is, uh. Right, so we have the syllable cust down at the bottom. And then in the middle, up top, there's that U. It looks like it could say tum. So maybe that's why you thought customers up top. Down below, it's the O sound, ah, tom. And it's not tum, though. We're going to look at the root word in a minute, but there's a silent E in the root of costume. That is a long U sound because that's silent E. All right, like I said, let's I said a minute, but let's look at the root words right now. The root of costumers is obviously costume, right? We're all familiar, familiar, <laughs> familiar with the word costume, all right? It's got a silent E and it's gonna make the long U sound. So there's a, there's a, a, a chunk there at the end. Doom, costume, all right? Costume is an old word. It's an old French word. It's also Italian. And we think of it as dressing up as Halloween, but it's a style of dress, fashion, or distinctive appearance, okay? That's the, been the, the definition for a very long time before you and I were around. <clears throat> Here's an illustration of old, French people, they are not dressed for a party. This is how they normally dressed long ago in history, okay? So costume didn't refer to dressing up to be silly at a party like Halloween. Costume referred to how you normally dressed, okay? Pretty interesting story about that word. Now we think of it as, oh, look, you're, you're Woody for Halloween. Oh, it's so cute. Costume. So the meaning has changed over time. Costume is the root and to turn it into costumer, we just add an R. If you, now that is a suffix. Most of the time we're adding an ER. So if you read it now, it looks like costumer. So there's another reason this is easily confused. It looks like costumer, unless you remember the silent E is already there in the root, right? So this is really a, this is really a conversation about the, the, the silent E rule. All right, so there's costumer and we add an Remember the U there, right? Long U sound now. And a costumer is someone who makes costumes, right? And so we've got the noun, costumer, it's a person, and add an S to make a plural. The root of customers is an old English word. Long, long ago, it's originally spelled like this, custom, costume. We talk about U-M-E ending that U-M-E, costume. Now, it, custom is actually related to the French costume we were just talking about, all right? Costume, we've talked about the definition, but there's more than one definition to a lot of words, and 
costume in French for, long, for a very long time meant a custom, habit, or practice. A habit or practice, like at Thanksgiving, we think of a, there's a custom to have a, a turkey at Thanksgiving, right? That's the practice. Now, another definition of custom is support given to a store or business by purchasing, spending money, all right? That's a custom. And we add the ER, the full ER suffix now, and we have a customer, all right? Everyone's doing a lot of grocery shopping now. There's a customer. You, when you shop, you're a customer. That's the root of customer. And we add an S to make it a plural noun, all right? Quick look at the syllables of both of these words. The red is the stressed syllable. We say up top, ka stu ka stu down below, ka Sta mers, cut mers, and and reading the syllables, saying the syllables to yourself when you're spelling is a helpful way to uh, be a more accurate speller. All right, we're going to put these two words aside. Get ready to hit pause for some extra practice here, and we're going to wrap it up with this. Hit pause and read this phrase out loud. All right, very good. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel where I post videos like this one every school day, every weekday morning to help readers in second through sixth grade and beyond and even before second grade decode the big words are, and give you some lots and lots of help with spelling. Mom or dad can follow me on Facebook at the Fluency Awesomeizer where I post and I have in my photos Lots of decoding practice, just like these. There's over 200 examples in my photos. Come back and see me again soon, tomorrow even, here at the Fluency Awesomeizer. Bye.